everybody. I'm downtown about a block from Millennium Park. I'm working at the Art Institute. I thought I'd show you downtown Chicago right now. There's school buses. There's probably 40, 50, 60 school buses dropping kids off. Going to the Art Institute. Maybe taking a walk through Millennium Park. I think it's just so cool. Now, these are things you don't see in the news. You see a lot of bad things in the news. But you don't see Look at all these school buses. Look at them all. And, and the world's not a perfect place. Get it, but yet people make the effort, a true effort, to get a good education for children. Look at all the school buses. All right, everyone. There's good things happening. Let's let's make ourselves aware of them too. Thanks. Well, it's a wild day downtown. This is Friday. We had a, a tremendous amount of school buses were here. Kids everywhere. Going to the Art Institute. Going to Millennium Park. It was very exciting. Also, I think Orchestra Hall. So anyway, here's some of the patterns we put in. You see the matrix, the rivers of Carrick's Pennsylvanica with Carrick's Plantaginia, Carrick's Shortiana in the back. It's hard to see, but you see a little bit. Plantaginia, uh, Pachysandra procumbens, uh, Carrick's Bromoides, and Carrick's Trimberg. It's a short, tight one I got. I think I got this from uh, Kurt Blumel. So we're trying just little moments of Trimberg, very tight and compact up front. And then you see again, Shortiana. So I've just got islands of sedges and uh, Carrick's, uh, I think in the back was Flacosperma. I got from New Moon Nursery. They've got a lot of sedges, New Moon. Very good. And Kurt Blumel's got a lot too. But I think New Moon's, New Moon's got a little bit more and a little bit more availability. But just check everybody out and, and, and do your best. That's all That's all you can do. So again, the islands. And then we'll be placing uh, Draptors Marginalis in larger groups through here. And uh, Lady Furnitherium Felix Femina is going to go in here. So there'll be islands of those and a few scattered in between the sedges if they kind of drifted through. So after you get the rivers in, oh, and I got Primula. Primula Varus is also in there and uh, Digitalis carillon. It's a yellow Digitalis. And those are in little islands scattered through four to five in islands scattered through the planting. So once you get the matrix of sedges in, in your groupings, the, the rest is emotional. Where, where you put the Caliphylum, the Electroides, where you put the Dodecathian and the Draptors, you just kind of emotionally do it. And actually, you're much better at this when you walk through a remnant woodland. I've gone through a, quite a few remnant woodlands in the Kettle Moraine, and I get a feeling for the patterns that are there simply just by seeing them and walking by them. It's very emotional. And that gives you some way of feeling your way through where to space them, how many to put in three here, five here, two here, two here, five here, three here. So it's a, it's very good. You see how, like your Carex Bromoides kind of bumps out, and then the Carex Pennsylvanica will drift through here in a moment of Pachysandra procumbens. So actually, I really love doing these. I don't think who wouldn't, because it's kind of like doing paintings, a textural painting. It's not about color. It's about these textural qualities of painting, light green, dark green, wide leaves, narrow leaves. Again, it's very exciting. And I, I want to thank the Art Institute for all these opportunities. We do have some beds we have to repair. They've been in for 13 years. There's one over here, the River Birch, uh, died. There were three river birds in here and they died and were cut down, so we have to redo this bed. But that's called gardening. It's a, things change in 15 to 20 years. But I'm, again, I'm very excited to be here. And I think you should become excited too with these opportunities for sedges. Outside of Michigan Avenue, they're replanting a, a million bulbs. And they take them out and put them in every year. The idea would be something contemporary. I thought just fill the planters with sedges and grasses and put minimal amounts, a third or a quarter of the bulbs in, and I think they'd actually be more beautiful set in a simple Carrick's background. And you could, when the bulbs are done, you could put annuals in those simple Carrick's matrix. So I think this, our future is very bright for managing costs and being much, 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 much more creative than simply sticking with the 60s and 70s. Anyway, thanks a lot. And if you have questions, let me know. We'll see how this looks next year. Thank you. Is it fresh?